really, I can't really say because there's like a lot of comics that really came my way. But my main comic right now was like Red Fox because he was like straight to the point. He didn't care about what he said. He didn't care who he offended. But on the point of comedy, he knows that and everybody's gonna laugh. So he didn't care about what he said because he knew everybody was gonna laugh. So that's that's my main thing. Red Fox is one of my main comics that really inspired me to do what I do today. It was hell. I'm not gonna lie. It was it was hell. I, I bombed so bad. It's like. I bombed so bad that Haiti felt like, you know what I'm saying, the rumble from when I bombed on stage. I'm serious. They were like, oh my God, like, what's this going on? What is he doing down there? I mean, I didn't, I didn't, it was like, I didn't, I didn't like it. But at the same time, that taught me to never give up and keep going and do comedy because repetitiously, the more you do it, the better you get. So that's what I can really get out of comedy. It's never, it's never, it's never like, uh, 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 a good spot. It's always a dry spot because you never know what crowd you have each night. So. My favorite comic book is Kevin Hart. Um, seriously funny. That's like one of my favorite stand-ups that he did because one thing about it is that I'm a comic that likes to talk about myself and also my family. And he was like in a perfect guideline to talk about his family. And that's like kind of inspired me to go ahead and say, you know what, don't be scared, tell your story. And as long as I'm out here telling my story, I know that's gonna turn people's heads and they're gonna open up their ears to listen to my story and what I'm doing. So Kevin Hart is like, right now, he's like really the main comic that I really kind of like listen to. Um, and another person who I really listen to because he's so clean is Preacher Lawson. Preacher Lawson is one of my comics that I know that if I do have a mainstream like show to go to, I know I can watch one of his shows and like you know what, get motivation on what he's saying, not performing the stuff that he does, but actually just get a lot of pointers from what he's doing, like mainstream or urban. So it's like, I mean, I, I can go, I can go on, I can have a list of all comics, but Preacher and Kevin Hart is like one of my favorite comics. The reason why I choose Martin is because it's reality. You know what I'm saying? You have that girlfriend that's sometimes crazy, but sometimes on your side, you know what I'm saying? And you also have that guy who is a comedian and who has that life of a comedian and also try to bring forth like good times, but he comes into turmoil, but knows how to conquer the turmoil being what? A comedian. We always, comedians know how to Bring a range stuff. You know what I'm saying? When we get in a tight spot, yeah. we know how to get ourselves out of it. But at the end, even though we're upset, we will never show it. So that's what I like about Martin and his all oh, his um his 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 series on the Martin Lawrence show. Dave Chappelle. In Living Color, sketch comedy, but it can also relate to real life sit like sit situations. And the only reason why I say that in Living Color was like one of my main shows is because of this. Certain things that we wouldn't do on TV, they did. Certain things that we thought was gay and inappropriate, they made it funny. So that made it a way for a lot of comedians to come out and, you know, be yeah, more. I think he was on that show, man. Yeah, yeah, Jamie Foxx was on that show, Fox, yeah. Tommy Davis. Tommy, all, I mean, all the David great David Greer. Yeah, all the great comics. Marlon and Sean. All the great comics. Right. J-Lo. But to be a great comic, you gotta take risks. You know what I'm saying? You cannot, you, you can't be a comic and be scared to say what you really want to say. And I was in that boat before, you know what I'm saying? Before Darius, you know what I'm saying, told me like, you know what, look, you can't just be in one box. You gotta step out the box sometimes and make these folks laugh. And tonight, I think it really paid away for both of us. We really, we really got on stage and like, you know what? I think because we fucking practice. Yeah, like we've been practicing the whole week, yeah. I call him on the phone like this, we think about each other, he's like, nah, that shit is corny. You know what I'm saying? So I said, well, let's get together. And once we get together and we combine our jokes, oh man, it's a masterpiece. My favorite comedy films is Coming to America, Players Club, oh, yeah, and um, 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 Trading Places. Those are my favorite comedy films, man, because, like I say, the Players Club, 
Mm. I used to go to strip club. That's a lot of goddamn money. And one thing about it, I did actually follow the stripper home. And I was like, you know what? Maybe this is not the good thing to do. I need to turn around. But she was okay with it. So, you know, I wound up going. Anyway, that story can go anyway. I don't, I don't. <laughs>
So get out here, experience this world of comedy. Because why? I love it, and I'm gonna eat it up. Shout out to This your boy Des Maggis, aka Pastor Sutton Sons, and you on cutiepot.com. Who? You don't bullshit, they do everything the real shit, okay? Cutiepot! Ah! Shout out to Russia!